single line token instruments had the following disadvantages. Tokens are to be exchanged between station staff and train driver. This requires more operating time when a train is already standing in the station because token has to be collected from the incoming train and then put into the block instrument for closing the block section and to take a fresh line, clear and token. More physical strain as tokens are to be exchanged and at times it is dangerous as tokens are to be exchanged with the trains without stopping. Problems like token missing, token balancing, census of token, recoupment of lost token or damaged token etc. are frequently encountered. Unwanted detentions because of token system requires maintaining normal polarity or reverse polarity of block instrument. Less section capacity. The Signal Standards Committee in the 29th report recommended the introduction of tokenless working on the Indian Railways to increase the single line capacity and to accept by the Railway Board. First pair of tokenless instruments supplied by the Daido Signal Company of Japan was introduced in 1959-60 to 60 on the Kurda Road, Ratang section of the Southeastern Railway. The last stop signal is the authority to proceed with tokenless block instruments. Direct DC currents or voltages are not used for signaling to other stations by the tokenless block instruments to avoid outside interference by extraneous currents. Tokenless block instrument handle type uses modulated carrier frequencies for setting the instruments to train coming from, train going to, train online and line closed condition. These carrier frequencies are transmitted and received in the instruments with the usage of transmitter and receivers. Avoids unauthorized operation in the absence of station master as the key will be in the custody of the on duty station master. Key has to be inserted and turned to on position for any operation. When this key is taken out, the block instrument becomes inoperative for all functions except for reception of bell code, reception or transmission of auto TOL code, telephone used in FM handle type block instrument is of handle micro telephone type. In this instrument, telephone works on 24 volts DC. Miniature telephone relay named TELR is used to isolate the telephone circuit from line circuit while speaking. Galvanoscope indicates the incoming and outgoing DC current of the receiving and sending block instruments. The resistance of the coil is 18.2 ohms, working current is 110 milliamperes and working voltage is 2 volts. Single stroke bell is mounted on top of the instrument and is used for exchanging bell code signals, that is, to receive bell signals. The bell coil is wound to a resistance of 310 ohms and requires about 70 milliamperes for operation from the local battery. Single stroke bell sounds when BLR or NR picks up, that is, in the instrument wherever either DC negative or DC positive is received online and used for exchanging bell code signals. When two instruments are placed at the same place, two different shaped bell gongs are used to distinguish between up and down block instruments. Click on the bell gongs below to listen to the bell sound and see the animation. Push button PB1 transmits DC current for exchanging bell codes. When PB1 is pressed alone, it transmit. DC negative online to pick up BLR relay at the other station and bell to sound. 
PB1 when pressed along with PB2 is used for sending of operational code. During auto TOL code acknowledgement, pressing PB1 alone transmits DC positive instead of DC negative on L1. Push button PB2 is pressed along with PB1 to transmit operational codes to permit the operation of block handle at other station. The code sent is frequency modulated code along with a DC positive code. Pressing of PB2 alone does not have any effect. PB2 is pressed always along with PB1 to pick up PBPR relay at the same station, which in turn sends frequency modulated code either F1 or F2, depending on the position of the block instrument and DC positive on line to pick up NR relay at the other station and to sound the bell. A mechanically operated rotary type handle called block handle is located in the front on the lower part of the block instrument. The block handle has three fixed positions for ready recognition of the block section position. These are line closed, train coming from, train going to. The block handle will always be in locked condition in any of these positions. It is not possible to change the block handle from one position to another position without the cooperation of the other end station master. When the block section is in closed condition, it points towards line closed position. When a line clear is granted to a station in rear, it points towards train coming from position. When a line clear has been obtained from the station in advance, it points towards train going to position. For turning the block handle first, it has to be pressed and then turned to the required position. This is to ensure definite action by the station master while operating the instrument. The handle is free to be turned without cooperation. Between X and Y, when the handle is in line closed position, between L and D, when the handle is in train going to position. Between R and D, when the handle is in train coming from position. However, to turn the handle cooperation from the other station master is required, which is indicated by the Galvo for the following. Line closed to train coming from N to R. Train coming from to line closed. R to N. Line closed to train going to N to L. Train going to to line closed L to N. Movement of the handle from line closed to train coming from or train going to and back to normal position from train coming from and train going to is controlled by an electric lock and this lock is required to be energized at Y position for turning handle to train coming from and at D or B position for turning from train coming from or train going to to normal. For turning to train going to, the lock is initially energized at X position but gets forced dropped before X dash and is actuated at X dash position for further movement to train going to. The locking effective at X dash is termed as check locking and is provided to ensure the conscious cooperation of the station master at the other end. This locking is however not effective while turning the handle from train going to to normal even though the lock is force dropped. It is because of the bevel edge of the concerned notch on which the lock just slides over and does not cause an obstruction to the movement of the handle. Handle in normal position, handle locked and forced dropped at N position. Handle released at Y position while turning from normal to train coming from position. 
handle in TCF position. Handle force dropped and locked in TCF position, also known as R position. Handle released at D position while turning from TCF to normal position. Handle released at X position. Handle force dropped and locked before X dash position while turning handle from normal to train going to position. Handle released at check lock position at X dash position, that is, in the midway of normal to train going to position. Handle at train going to position. Handle force dropped and locked in TGT, also known as L position. Handle released at B position while turning from train going to to normal position, also known as N position. The block handle assembly consists of 24 sets of spring contacts, circuit controller, actuated during the course of handle operation for proving the exact position of the block handle in the circuits. Click here to see the details of the contact making of the springs. The handle shaft has cam projections which actuates the spring contacts while the handle is operated. These spring contacts makes and breaks as per the position of the block handle. N contact making. N contact breaking. R contact making. R contact breaking. L contact making. L contact breaking. These spring contacts are used to prove the block handle position electrically in the block circuit for granting line clear. Example R contact in transmitter circuit. Obtaining line clear. Example BX and DY contact in the receiver circuit. Auto train on line code transmission, example, L contact in transmitter circuit. Taking off last stop signal, LA contact. Taking off home signal, XY or RD contacts. Economizing the power supply to block handle lock coil, B, D, Y and X, X dash contacts. When the lock gets energized, the handle is free to move from normal to train coming from or train going to position depending upon the code that is received. Due to residual magnetism, there is a possibility of lock armature to stick up. Then the operator can normalize the block handle from train coming from or train going to position. To avoid such type of irregular movement, there is a need to lock the handle in respective position. The projection on the other side of the locking bracket ensure the forced dropping of the lock coil so that the operator cannot normalize the block handle. Once it is turned to train coming from or train going to without the cooperation of other station master. Switch S1 is a two-position switch used for normal cancellation of line clear already taken. When operated to reverse, it initiates the cancellation of line clear already taken. This cancellation, controlled by a 120 seconds time delay, a counter is used to register each cancellation operation. 
Switch S2 is a two-position switch. When operated to reverse, it is used for normalizing the instrument during a pushback operation of a train to the starting station. Pushback operation is performed immediately after reversing S2. No time delay required in this case. Another counter is used to register each pushback operation. TOL indicator is an electromagnetic indicator, magnetic latch type. It operates at both the stations on entry of the train into the block section, that is, on occupation of advanced starter track circuit, when advanced starter is taken off. When the block section is clear, it displays white indication and when a train enters into the block section on a line clear, it changes to red indication with writing train on line and it holds magnetically. The indicator again changes to white when block handle is turned from any position to line closed. Time release indicator is an electromagnetic indicator to indicate the maturity of time element relay during cancellation of a line clear. The coil resistance is 200 ohms. Normally, the time release indicator shows white indication with words locked and when operated, it shows green indication with words free. Free indication appears after 120 seconds on operation of S1 switch. The carrier frequencies used by the transmitter and receivers are 1800 Hz cycles or 2700 Hz cycles. The modulating frequencies are 65 Hz cycles and 85 Hz cycles. Transmitter Receiver works on 24 volt DC feed. The transmitters used are capable of modulating the carrier frequency with 65 Hz or 85 Hz and the receivers are capable to demodulate the received frequency and to give the output to pick up different 24 volt Q series relays namely CR1 and CR2 respectively for 85 Hz and 65 Hz modulating frequencies. The transmitter unit with 1800 Hz carrier frequency is in red color. The transmitter unit with 2700 Hz carrier frequency is in blue color. The transmitter output frequency is always carrier frequency along with modulated frequency. The output frequencies are known as F1 and F2. F1 equals 1800 plus or minus 85 Hz or 2700 plus or minus 85 hertz. F2 equals 1800 plus or minus 65 hertz or 2700 plus or minus 65 hertz. For turning the instrument handle from 1. Normal to train coming from 2. Train coming from to normal 3. Train going to to normal F1. Frequency is required to be received by the block instrument. F2. Frequency is required to be received by the block instrument. 1. For turning the instrument handle from normal to train going to. 2. For setting TCF instrument to auto train online condition. Normally, feed is not extended to the transmitter. During operation, 24 volt DC feed is extended to the transmitter through the circuits. When feed is extended to the transmitter, it selects the modulated frequency by an external loop, completed through the relevant section according to the position of the block instrument handle, train and the block section. When F1 and C loop is made, output F1 frequency. When handle is normal position for transmitting train coming from code. After train arrival when handle in train coming from position.
after line clear cancellation when handle is in train going to position. After train arrival during pushback cancellation when handle in train going to position. When F2 and C loop is made, output is F2 frequency. For train going to code transmission, when handle is in train coming from position. For auto train online code transmission. In the same instrument, if the transmitter used is of 1800 Hz, the receiver should be of 2700 Hz and vice versa. For this reason, if 2700 Hz transmitter along with 2700 Hz at the other end, connected instruments are used for up direction of the section. 1800 transmitters with 1800 Hz receivers at the other end, connected instruments are used for down direction. It is a three position switch associated with the transmitter. This can adjust the level of the signal output of the transmitter. The transmitter selects the modulated frequency by an external loop completed through the relevant section according to the position of the block instrument handle. This is a switch having two positions, one for 600 ohms, the second for 1120 ohms. When the instruments are connected with overhead lines, the switch is put on to 600 ohm side. When connected with RE cables, normally in RE area, the switch is put on to 1120 ohms. This receives the frequency modulated signals transmitted from the other end and gives DC output for energizing either CR1 or CR2 relay depending on the modulating frequency of the code received. CR1 relay is energized when F1 frequency is received. CR2 relay is energized when F2 frequency is received. The receiver is switched on when the DC feed is connected through the relevant sections. Receiver unit with 2700 Hz carrier frequency is in blue color. Receiver unit with 1800 Hz carrier frequency is in red color. Two electronic buzzers BZ1 and BZ2 are provided inside the block instrument. BZ1 is a dual tone buzzer and sounds at both stations when the train enters into the block section and stops after acknowledgement by pressing PB1 button at the train receiving station. BZ2 buzzer sounds at the receiving station on train arrival on proper reception signals and sequence. It stops by normalizing the home signal station master slide or lever. Shunting key is used as a shunting authority to shunt in any direction beyond last stop signal up to first stop signal of the station. It is normally kept inserted in the block instrument. It can be taken out only when the block handle is in line closed or train going to position and when taken out the block handle is locked mechanically in last operated position. 
The insertion and extraction of key can be done only when the station master's key is inserted and turned on. Terminal block consists of terminals numbered from 1 to 60. Numbering is done like 1 to 11, 2 to 12, 49 to 59 and 50 to 60. Terminal block is placed inside the block instrument at the base. Terminal block is used for different circuit termination. Click here to know about terminal block particulars. Protection against overcurrent. Excessive current may flow in a circuit as a result of an overload or overflow. An overload current which exceeds the rated value in a healthy circuit. A short circuit current is excess current as a result of direct contact with phase and neutral or earth. The overload and short circuit current cause damage to the equipment which has to be protected. The device used is known as fuse. The fuse element blows off when excess current is passed through it due to overload or short circuit. Mostly tinned copper wire is used as a fuse element. The below table shows the current rating in amperes and its relevant tinned copper wire. Size in diameter. Lightning causes damage of the equipment and also to human body. When wires are drawn from outside the building and into the equipment, the lightning voltage will damage the equipment. To overcome this, lightning discharger is provided. This lightning discharger is provided in such a way that one electrode of lightning discharger is connected to line wire and the other electrode is connected to earth. In between the electrodes, mica strips are provided with holes. When a high voltage of lightning is affected on line wire, it passes through lightning discharger bursting mica strips to the earth, which is a low resistive path and the equipment is protected. Always earth resistance should be checked for low resistance, not more than 10 ohms. BLR relay is QBA1 type. It is an AC immunized biased relay and picks up when positive on line 2 and negative on line 1 is received from the line and makes the single stroke bell to sound through the pickup contacts of BLR relay. BLR relay picks up at station B once PB1 button pressed at station A and vice versa. NR relay is QBA1 type. It is also AC immunized biased relay and pick up when positive on line 1 and negative on line 2 is received from the line and makes the single stroke bell to sound. Block handle lock magnet to energize through its pickup contact with the help of other contacts. NR relay can be called as push button relay. It picks up at other station when PBPR is up at the station. Push button proving relay picks up at the same station when 1. PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously or 2. Only PB1 button pressed with TOLR pickup condition during Auto train online code transmission. Coding relay 1 picks up when F1 frequency is received by the receiver. CR1 required to be in pickup condition for turning the block instrument handle from 1. Normal to train coming from 2. Train coming from to normal after train arrival or after cancellation. 
3. Train going 2 to normal. After train arrival at the other station, normal cancellation and pushback cancellation. CR1 picks up at B, Y, D positions of the block handle, not at N, R, L positions of the block handle. One reason is to allow the relay to pick up only when the block handle is required to be turned as above and secondly to save the power consumption. CR1 relay pick up through the back contact of CR2 relay. Coding relay 2 picks up when F2 frequency is received by the receiver. CR2 relay is required in picking up condition for turning the block handle from normal to train going 2. CR2 relay should be in pickup condition at check clock position, that is X dash position. CR2 relay picks up at X, X dash position for turning handle from normal to train going 2 and R position to receive auto train online code. CR2 relay also picks up during auto train online code reception to set the train coming from instrument to train online condition. CR2 relay pick up through the back contact of CR1 relay. When the block handle is turned from normal to train going to position with the cooperation of other station master that is NR and CR2 relays are up. Once pick up it has a stick path through LX contact. TRSR relay pickup ensures that handle is turned with the cooperation of other station master only. Its up contact is proved in advanced starter controlling relay and thus controls the advanced starter off aspect. TRSR relay drops when train passes and advanced starter track circuit is occupied. TRSR also ensures one signal and one train concept on advanced starter signal. 1R relay proves the normal condition of reception signals and last stop signal lever and SM's slide. 1TPR relay is a repeater of first vehicle track relay ASTR. Train online relay picks at both stations. At sending station it picks up when tokenless block instrument is in TGT position. TRSR relay is up and 1TPR relay is down. That is online clear when train enters the block section TOLR relay at sending station picks up. At receiving station on reception of auto train online code, instrument in TCF position, CR2 relay up TOLR relay picks up. 2R relay picks up after the complete arrival of the train with proper sequence that is TAR relay is up and the instrument is in TCF or TGT position. TGT position used during pushback cancellation. Once S1 switch is turned for normal cancellation, the electronic timer relay gives output of 24 volt after a specified time delay, 120 seconds. Which in turn picks up the TEPR relay. 3R relay is the cancellation relay. When S1 switch is turned for normal cancellation after a specified time, 120 seconds delay, it picks up and the free indicator energized through 3R relay pickup contact. Advanced starter relay picks up with TRSR relay up and S1 switch normal that is line clear obtained instrument in TGT position and cancellation not initiated. Home signal control relay picks up proving 
S2 switch normal and TRSR relay down when instrument is in TCF position for receiving a train. Proving S2 switch reverse and TRSR relay down when instrument is in TGT position during pushback operation. Train arrival relay picks up when a train reaches a station. Timer relay is an electronic type relay used for pickup of TEPR relay after 120 seconds time delay in case of normal cancellation. 120 second delay information is stored in TEPR relay pickup position, which is used to pick up 3R relay for cancellation. Telephone relay of resistance 70 ohms picks up when switch of hand micro telephone is pressed and in turns it connects the telephone online and also disconnects the transmitter and receiver from the frequency line. Line section. To dispatch a train from station A to station B, following operations are performed. The block operating handle is in line closed position, also known as normal position. The block operating handle is in line closed position, also known as normal position. Galvo needle is in center position. Galvo needle is in center position. All relevant reception and dispatch signals and their controls are in normal position. Station A presses PB1 button to transmit bell code signal to station B. Station B acknowledges it by repeating same bell code signal for attending the telephone, which is one bell beat. The information is exchanged between station A and station B through telephone about the dispatching train. Station A sends is line clear code to station B. Station B acknowledges it by repeating same bell code which is two bell beats. Station A presses PB1 and PB2 buttons simultaneously to transmit TCF code to Station B. On observing the bell beat and the Galvo needle indication at Station B, Station B turns block handle to train coming from position, also known as R position. During handle operation from normal to TCF at Station B, Galvo needle flicks at both at station B and station A. On observing this, station A leaves PB1 and PB2 buttons. Station B presses PB1 and PB2 buttons simultaneously to transmit train going to code to station A. On observing the bell beat and the galvo needle indication at station A, station A turns block handle to TGT position also known as L position. During handle operation from normal to TGT at station A, Galvo needle flicks at both at station A and station B. On observing this, station B leaves PB1 and PB2 buttons. Station A clears advanced starter and starter signal. On observing departure signals are in off position, train departs into block section from station A. On passage of advanced starter at station A, A, first vehicle track occupied and one TPR relay drops. B, last stop signal replaced to danger. C, train online indication appears at station A and buzzer sounds. intermittently at station A. D. Auto TOL code is transmitted from station A to station B. On receipt of auto TOL code at station B from station A, 
train online indication appears with a buzzer sounding intermittently at station B. Observing the indication and buzzer station B acknowledges this train online position by pressing PB1 button. Buzzer stops at both stations. Train online indication remains both at station A and station B. Now, station B takes off reception signals. When train arrives beyond block overlap point, AT, BT track relays will drop and pick up sequentially. Home signal goes back to danger and buzzer sounds continuously at station B. Observing the buzzer sound at station B, station B puts back station master slide and concerned home signal lever, then buzzer stops. Station B transmits train out of section signal by sending bell code which is four bell beats to station A. This is acknowledged by station A by repeating same number of bells for train out of section, that is by four bell beats. Station B presses PB1 and PB2 buttons simultaneously to transmit the line closed code to station A. Station A turns block handle from TGT position to normal position. Train online indication disappears at station A. PB1 and PB2 buttons are released at station B by observing galvo needle movement. Station A presses PB1 and PB2 buttons simultaneously to transmit the line closed code to station B. Station B turns block handle from TCF position to normal position. Train on line indication disappears at station B. PB1 and PB2 buttons are released at station A by observing galvo needle movement. Both instruments, block handle, galvo needle and signals are in normal position. Block section is closed. A and B are two stations on a single line section. To cancel the line clear from station A to station B, following operations are performed. Station A takes line clear from station B to dispatch a train. The block operating handle of station A instrument is in train going to position. The block operating handle of station B instrument is in train coming from position. Last stop signal is replaced to on position. Train not entered into the block section. Station A presses PB1 button to transmit bell code to station B. Station B acknowledges it by repeating the same bell code for attending the telephone, which is one bell beat. The information is exchanged between station A and station B through telephone about the cancellation of line clear already taken for the train. Station A turns normal cancellation switch S1 to reverse position from normal position. If last stop signal is not put back to off position, it automatically goes back to danger, puts back all controls of relevant signals to on and ensures all concerned signals and their controls are at normal. S1 switch counter registers next higher number. After two minutes, the train release indicator displays a free indication.
Observing the free indication, station A turns S1 switch to normal position. Station A sends call attention bell code to station B, which is acknowledged by station B by same bell code. Station A presses PB1 and PB2 buttons simultaneously to transmit line closed code to station B. On observing the bell beat and the galvo needle indication at station B, station B turns block handle from train coming from to line closed position. PB1 and PB2 buttons are released at station A by observing galvo needle movement. Station B presses PB1 and PB2 buttons simultaneously to transmit line closed code to station A. On observing the bell beat and the galvo needle indication at station A, station A turns block handle from train going to to line closed position. PB1 and PB2 buttons are released at station B by observing galvo needle movement. Both instruments, block handle, galvo needle and signals are in normal position. Block section is closed again. A and B are two stations on a single line section. To cancel the line clear from station A to station B, following operations are performed. The block operating handle of station A instrument is in train going to position. The block operating handle of station B instrument is in train coming from position. Train already entered into the block section. Train on line indication displayed at both stations. Train is prepared to come back to the dispatching station from the midsection. Station A presses PB1 button to transmit bell code to Station B. Station B acknowledges it by repeating same bell code for attending the telephone by one bell beat. The information is exchanged between station A and station B through telephone about the cancellation of line clear of train in pushback condition. Station A ensures all concerned signals and their controls are normal. Turns pushback cancellation switch S2 to reverse position from normal position. At station A, the S2 switch counter registers next higher number. Station A takes off the reception signals to receive the train. As the train enters the station, it actuates the block clearance track circuits. At station A, the home signal returns to on position automatically and train arrival buzzer sounds continuously at station A. Station A replaces home signal lever to normal position and buzzer stops. Station A turns pushback cancellation switch S2 into normal position. Station A sends train out of section bell code. That is, four bell beats to station B which is acknowledged by station B by same bell code. That is by four bell beats. 
Station A presses PB1 and PB2 buttons simultaneously to transmit line closed code to Station B. On observing the bell beat and the galvo needle indication at Station B, Station B turns block handle from TCF to line closed position. At Station B, train online indicator disappears. PB1 and PB2 buttons are released at Station A by observing galvo needle movement. Station B presses PB1 and PB2 buttons simultaneously to transmit line closed code to Station A. On observing the bell beat and the galvo needle indications at Station A, Station A turns block handle from TGT to line closed position. At Station A, train on line indicator disappears. PB1 and PB2 buttons are released at Station B by observing galvo needle movement. Both instruments, block handle, galvo needle and signals are in normal positions. Block section is closed with train coming back to Station A. A and B are two stations on a single line section. To perform shunting between last stop signal and opposing first stop signal following operations are performed. The block operating handle of both stations are in line closed position. All reception and dispatch signals and its controls are at normal. Reception signal shall not be taken off for shunting. Station A presses PB1 button to transmit bell code to Station B. Station B acknowledges it by repeating same bell code for attending the telephone. The information is exchanged between Station A and Station B through telephone about the shunting. Unlocks the instrument using SM key and takes out the shunting key. Hands over the shunting key to the concerned train driver. With the shunting key, the train driver passes last stop signal at danger along with his train and goes beyond last stop signal up to opposite first stop signal for shunting purpose. After completing the shunting, the train driver returns the shunting key to Station Master of Station A. Station A unlocks the instrument using Station Master key and replaces the shunting key. Station A sends call attention bell code to Station B, which is acknowledged by Station B by same bell code. Information is exchanged about the completion of shunting. Both instruments, block handle, galvo needle and signals are in normal position. Block section is in closed condition and ready for line clear to be taken. A and B are two stations on single line. To perform shunting between last stop signal and opposing first stop signal behind a departing train, following operations are performed. The block operating handle of Station A instrument is in train going to position. The block operating handle of Station B instrument is in train coming from position. Train already entered into the block section. All reception and dispatch signals and its controls are at normal. Reception signals shall not be taken off for shunting. Station A presses PB1 button to transmit bell code to Station B. Station B acknowledges it by repeating same bell code for attending the telephone. The information is exchanged between Station A and Station B through telephone about shunting behind the train. Unlocks the instrument using Station Master key and takes out the shunting key. Hands over the shunting key to the concerned train driver. With the shunting key, the train driver passes last stop signal at danger along with his train and goes beyond last stop signal to opposite first stop signal for shunting purpose.
After completing the shunting, the train driver returns the shunting key to Station Master of Station A. Station A unlocks the instrument using Station Master key and replaces the shunting key. Station A sends call attention bell codes to Station B, which is acknowledged by Station B by same bell codes. Station B initiates the procedure for closing of the block section to line closed position in case the train has already been received. In case the train has not been received prior to completion of shunting, at Station A initiates procedure for closing of the block section after the reception of the train. Both instruments block handle galvo needle and signals are at normal position. Block section is closed. Normally, the block handle is in center upright, line closed position. The station master key is in, shunting key or SH key is in, cancellation switch S1 and pushback switch S2 are in normal position. The train on line and time release indicator are white and the galvanometer indicator indicates zero current position, that is in center position. In this case, all the relays except for one TPR relay and one R relay are in de-energized position with no current flowing in the block line and the concerned signals and levers are in normal position. Bell code transmission to give call attention from station A to station B. PB1 button pressed. Negative on line. BLR relay picks up and sounds the bell. PB1 button pressed. Negative online. BLR relay picks up and sounds the bell. Verbal communication for grant of line clear takes place between station master of station A and station B over block telephone. For sending a train from station A to station B, train coming from code transmission from station A to station B. PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously. PBPR relay picks up proving 1R relay up. Positive on line, that is positive on line 1 and negative on line 2. Galvo deflects, NR relay picks up and bell sounds. With PBPR, relay up power is connected to transmitter. The modulating frequency F1, that is carrier frequency modulated 85 cycles, is selected as loop between F1 and C, that is between F1 terminal and common terminal is completed by handle normal contact in the transmitter. Frequency modulated code F1 is online. Input circuit to receiver of same station is isolated by PBPR relay back contacts. On getting the bell and galvo deflection at station B, station master turns the block handle as far as Y position of the block handle. Further rotation is not possible as the handle is in locked at Y position.
feed to receiver is connected through DY contact. CR1 relay picks up at station B on receipt of modulated current F1 by the receiver. Lock magnet picks up at Y position to release the block handle and now turned towards right. That is, train coming from position. While the block handle is being turned from normal position to receiving position, the circuit controller contact XY, RD, LB of the handle in the line circuit in series with the relay NR is opened between the Y and D positions of the block handle. On opening of circuit controller contact in line circuit, the resistance R3 in parallel to XY, RD, LB contacts and in series to line circuit with a resultant reduction in the volume of line current which greater than the drop away current of NR relay. This causes a click on Galvo needle at both stations. From this click, station master of button pressing station comes to know that the block handle at other station has been turned. Knowing block handle has been turned from the click on Galvo needle, PB1 and PB2 buttons at station A are released. With handle at train coming from position PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously to send train going to code signal to station A. PBPR relay picks up. Positive on line 1. Negative on line 2. Galvo deflects, NR relay picks up and bell sounds. With PBPR relay up, power is connected to transmitter as shown above. The modulated frequency F2, that is carrier frequency modulated 65 cycles, is selected as loop between F2 terminal and common terminal, is completed by handle R contact and 2R relay back contact in the transmitter. With NR relay up and F2 frequency received at receiver input. On getting the bell and galvo deflection at station B, station master turns the block handle up to X position. Further, turning is not position as the handle is locked at X position. Feed to receiver through handle BX contact, station master key in, 1R relay up, PBPR relay and TOLR relay down is extended as shown above. CR2 relay picks up at station A on receipt of F2 frequency by the receiver. With NR, CR2 and 1TPR relays up, handle at XX dash contact. TRSR relay picks up, which is the line clear receiving relay. Lock magnet picks up with TRSR, CR2 and NR relays up to release the block handle. Block handle turned to check lock position at X dash and then to train going to position as continuous cooperation is required to pass check lock position. Galvo needle flicks at both stations as line current reduces due to current flow through resistance R3 during the circuit controller contact XY RD LB of the handle opening between X and B positions of block handle. Galvo flicks, knowing block handle has been turned from the Galvo needle flick, PB1 and PB2 buttons at station are released. TRSR relay up and with block handle contact LA, proving that handle is in L position, advanced starter controlling relay ASR picks up. With ASR picked up, last stop signal can be taken off. 
Authority to proceed is given by train by last stop signal OFF aspect. Train enters into block section as soon as first vehicle track is occupied, one TPR relay drops. With TRSR relay up, one TPR relay down, handle at L position proved by LB contact, TOLR relay picks up. Train online indication, TOLK picks up. BZ1 buzzer sounds simultaneously as shown above. On hearing buzzer, last stop signal control lever or switch is made normal. However, BZ1 buzzer continues till acknowledged by station A. TOLR relay, TOLK indication and BZ1 buzzer gets stick path through TRSR, NR relay down and TOLR relay up. Handle at L position, NR relay down, TOLR relay up, feed automatically extended to transmitter. With TOLR relay up, power is connected to transmitter. Loop between F2 terminal and common terminal is completed through L contact and TOLR relay up. Modulated frequency F2 flows to line. Automatic train online code F2 frequency is online. Auto train online code, that is frequency F2, is received by the receiver. Feed to receiver is connected through handle R contact and 2R relay down. As receiver receives F2 frequency, CR2 relay picks up. With CR2 relay up, NR relay down through handle, RD contact, TOLR relay picks up. With TOLR relay up, TRSR and NR relays down. TOLK indication and buzzer BZ1 picks up. TOLK up gives train online indication. BZ1 buzzer continues to sound at both stations. On observing train online indication and buzzer's continuous sound, station B acknowledges the auto train online by pressing PB1 button. On this special occasion with PB1 button alone pressed, through TOLR relay up and handle RD contact, PBPR relay picks up at station B. With PBPR relay picks up, positive online, NR relay picks up. NR relay picking up causes stick path to break the TOLR relay, TOLK indication and BZ1 buzzer circuit. Buzzer stops at station A. Though feed to TOLK indication is cut off, train online indication remains as it was magnetically latched. Frequency F2 stops. With TOLR relay down, feed to transmitter is cut off. Transmission of F2 frequency gets stopped. As F2 frequency stops, CR2 relay drops. CR2 relay drop cuts feed to TOLR relay and TOLR relay drops. TOLR relay dropping causes feed to TOLK indication and BZ1 buzzer to cut off. This makes buzzer to stop at station B. Reception signal, that is, home signal is taken off to admit train into the station. Train arrives and occupies and clears 80 BT track circuits sequentially, which were provided at block overlap clearance point. Home signal goes to back to normal automatically. With the occupation of 80 BT track circuits sequentially, train arrival relay 
T-A-R picks up. With TAR relay picking up and with RY contact of block handle, 2R relay picks up and sticks. R relay pick up with home signal control lever or switch still in reverse train arrival buzzer B is at 2 sounds continuously at station B on train arrival and on hearing buzzer home signal control lever or switch is made normal train arrival buzzer stops train out of section signal that is four bell beats are exchanged with station A Station A acknowledges train arrival signal with four bell beats. After train arrival with handle at train coming from position, PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously. PBPR relay picks up. Positive online. Galvo deflects, NR relay picks up and bell sounds. With PBPR relay up, feed to transmitter is extended. The modulating frequency F1 is selected as loop between F1 terminal and common terminal through R contact and 2R relay up. Frequency F1 on line. F1 frequency received by receiver with station master key in, R1 relay up, TOLR relay down through BX contact, feed is extended to receiver when handle is turned from L to B position while making it normal. Frequency modulated code F1 online. CR1 relay picks up as the frequency received online is F1. With 1R, CR1, NR relays up and TRSR relay down through B contact block magnet energizes and makes handle free. Handle turned from L to N position, that is, train going to to normal position. When the handle is turned from train going to to line closed, TOLK indication disappears. Galvo needle flicks. Galvo flicks, knowing block handle has been turned from train going to to normal by Galvo needle flick. PB1 and PB2 buttons at station B are released. With handle at normal position, PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously. PBPR relay picks up. Galvo deflex, NR relay picks up and bell sounds. With PBPR relay up, feed to transmitter is extended. The modulating frequency F1 is selected as loop between F1 terminal and common terminal through N contact. Frequency F1 online. Frequency modulated code F1 online. Frequency F1 is received by receiver and feed to receiver is extended through station master key in. 1R relay up, 
PBPR and TOL are relays down through DY contact at D position of the block handle. At D position, while turning the handle from R to N position, CR1 relay picks up as the frequency received on line is F1. With 1R, CR1, NR relays up and TRSR relay down at D through BDY, contact lock magnet picks up and makes block handle free from locking. Handle turned from R to N position, that is, train coming from to normal position. When the handle is turned from TCF to line closed, TOLK indication disappears. Galvo flicks. On observing the Galvo needle movement, PB1 and PB2 buttons are released. PBPR relay down and F1 frequency stops. NR and CR1 relays drops and magnet drops. Both handles are normal and locked. Signals are in normal position. Block section is closed. Block handle is in L position, that is, in train going to position. Block handle is in R position, that is, in train coming from position. All concerned signals and signal levers are made normal and in normal position. All concerned signals and signal levers are made normal and in normal position. Verbal communication to make arrangement for line clear cancellation takes place between station master of station A and station B over block telephone. Cancellation switch S1 reversed with TRSR relay up. Timer relay energizes and counter S1 increases. Upon lapse of predetermined time, TEPR relay energizes through the output of timer TER relay. TEPR relay picks up. 3R relay energizes and stores the information of 2 minutes lapse of time and made to stick. It disconnects timer relay TER. With 3R relay up, time release indicator changes from white to green. S1 switch made normal. 3R relay up makes TRSR relay to drop. PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously. PBPR relay picks up. Positive online. Galvo deflects. NR relay picks up and bell sounds. With PBPR relay up, feed to transmitter is extended. The modulating frequency F1 is selected as loop between F1 terminal and common terminal is through L band. TOLR relay down and 3R relay up and frequency F1 online. Frequency modulated code F1 online. Frequency F1 is received by the receiver and feed to receiver is extended through station master key in 1R relay up, TOLR relay down through DY contact at D position of the block handle. At D position, while turning the handle from R to N position, CR1 relay picks up. With 1R, CR1, NR relays up and TRSR relay down. At D through BDY contact lock magnet picks up and makes block handle free from locking. Handle turned from R to N position, that is, train coming from to normal position, that is, without the train arrival and on normal cancellation. Handle at train going to position at station A. With handle at normal position at station B, PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously. PBPR relay picks up. Positive online. Galvo deflects. 
NR relay picks up and the bell sounds. Frequency modulated code F1 online. With PBPR relay up, feed to transmitter is extended. The modulating frequency F1 is selected as loop between F1 terminal and common terminal is through N band of the block handle and frequency F1 is online. Frequency F1 received and input to receiver. Feed is extended to receiver through station master key in. 1R relay up, TOLR relay down through BX contact at B when handle is turned from L to N position while making it normal. CR1 relay picks up as the frequency received on line is F1. With 1R, CR1, NR relays up and TRSR relay down through B, contact of BDY and S1 switch is normal. Lock magnet energizes and makes handle free from locking. Handle turned from L to N position, that is, train going to, to normal position without sending the train and with normal line clear cancellation procedure. Galvo Flix Knowing block handle has been turned from train going to to normal from the galvo needle movement, PB1 and PB2 buttons at station are released. With block handles on normal and signals are in normal position, block section is closed. Block handle is in L position, that is, in train going to position. Block handle is in R position, that is, in train coming from position. Train is in block section, last stop signal gone back to danger. TOLK indication is displayed. Train online buzzer sounds. Train online buzzer acknowledged by pressing PB1 button. Train online buzzer stopped. Pushback switch S2 is reversed. Counter for S2 switch increases in one number. Home signal lever reversed as in normal reception of a train to receive back the train. Home signal taken off through the control circuit of HSR relay through TRSR relay down, S2 switch reverse and LA handle contact. Advanced starter controlling relay ASR down. Train arrives at station A in pushback condition. Home signal restored to normal position automatically. TAR relay picks up from sequential operation of AT BT track circuits. TAR relay up, 2R relay picks up. Train arrival buzzer BZ2 sounds. Home signal, station master slide or switch put back to normal. Buzzer BZ2 stops buzzing. S2 switch is made normal. With handle in train going to, train out of block section is signaled, that is, four bell beats from station A to station B. Train out of block section signal acknowledged with four bell beats. And PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously. PBPR relay picks up, positive online. Galvo deflects. NR relay picks up and bell sounds. With PBPR relay up, feed to transmitter is extended. 
The modulating frequency F1 is selected as loop between F1 terminal and common terminal is made through L band. TOLR relay down, 3R relay down and 2R relay up. Frequency F1 is online. Frequency modulated code F1 online. F1 received by the receiver and feed to the receiver is extended through station master key in. 1R relay up, TOLR relay down through DY contact at D position of the block handle. At D, while turning the handle from R to N position, CR1 relay picks up as the frequency received online is F1. With 1R CR1, NR relays up and TR SR relay down at D through BDY contact lock magnet picks up and makes block handle free from locking. Handle turned from R to N position, that is, train coming from to normal position. Galvo needle flicks. On observing Galvo movements, PB1 and PB2 buttons at station A are released. With handle at normal position, PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed simultaneously at station B. With handle at train going to, Galvo deflects, NR relay picks up and bell sounds. FM code F1 online. PBPR relay picks up. Positive online. With PBPR relay up, feed to transmitter is extended. The modulating frequency F1 is selected as loop between F1 terminal and common terminal through N contact of the block handle. Frequency F1 online. F1 received by the receiver with Feed is extended to receiver through station master key in 1R relay up, TOLR relay down through BX contact at B position when handle is turned from L to N position while making it normal. CR1 relay picks up as the frequency received online is F1. With 1R, CR1, NR relays up and TRSR relay down through B contact, lock magnet energizes and makes handle free from locking. Handle turned from L to N position, that is, train going to to normal position. Galvo needle flicks. Galvo flicks. Knowing block handle has been turned from train going to to normal, the galvo needle flick PB1 and PB2 at station are released. With both block handles are normal, signals are in normal position, block section is closed. While modulated current F1 or F2 is being transmitted or received, telephone circuit is isolated from power line. While telephone circuit is used, transmitter and receiver are isolated from the line. To explain in detail, telephone relay TELR relay is inserted in series connection with relays CR1 down, CR2 down and TOLR down in the circuit. Also, TELR up is connected in series with the telephone circuit. Thus, Telephone circuit is isolated from signal circuit while modulated current is transmitted and received and transmitter receiver is isolated from signal line while the telephone is used. NR and BLR relays are not to pick up simultaneously due to rectifier failure. Back contact of NR relay is proved in BLR relay. In transmitter DC path, CR1 and CR2 relays are down to ensure no code except bell code to be transmitted unless CR1 and CR2 relays are down. PBPR relay up in transmitter DC path, PBPR relay down in modulated frequency input path for receiver is for not to receive its own modulated frequency. Auto train online transmitter feed is through. L contact and TOLR relay up receiver through R contact 
and two are relayed down because it is an auto operation. PB2 down in DC feed to transmitter to prove positive action while transmitting any functional code and to prevent feed to transmitter while acknowledging train online code. BXDY handle contact in receiver DC path to minimize battery consumption. No station master key contact in transmitter. Receiver DC path of auto train online code transmission and reception as it should be done automatically. CR1 and CR2 relays to be energized one at a time. CR1 relay drop is provided in CR2 relay and vice versa. Transmitter receiver modulated frequency output to line through TELR relay down contacts. Cross protection to magnet is given through CR1 relay down and CR2 relay down. TOLR relay slow to release because it is up through TRSR relay up and stick path through TRSR relay down. If PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed, just when train entering section then NR relay up. TOLR relay may drop so CR2 relay up. NR relay up. LB path is provided. S1 switch normal contact in ASR relay while cancelling to ensure signal to normal. Check lock position is effective at X dash position of the block handle. Filters along with X, Y relay in line circuit of TLBI handle type may be removed references letter to STS slash E slash SLTLBI dated 02 2004 ACPR relay up in 1R, TAR and LSS, DR relay up, ACPR relay down in UYR1 to be provided for block proving. Special circuit is designed to prevent failure on establishing TOL indications under certain specific conditions. Keeping continuously pressing PB1 and PB2 buttons for granting line clear at station B when station A already turned the block handle to L position, TGT, LSS taken off, train past LSS and actuates the LSS track. This action of continuously pressing PB1 and PB2 buttons by station master B, line clear granting station, will not interfere with display of TOL indications, which is affected through the operation described here below. While the push button PB1 and PB2 are being pressed at station B, a direct current plus and a modulated current F2 are transmitted as aforementioned to station A. In this state, the NR relay at station A picks up. When a train actuates the last stop signal track circuit of station A, the TOLR relay station A picks up the stick circuit of TOLR relay is not completed because of the NR relay picking up in this instance. As however, the NR relay has already picked up at station A. The power circuit of receiver is completed as follows causing the CR2 relay at station A to pick up B24 fuse 6162 terminal 48 L NR F RX 3 RX4 Terminal 21N24 with CR2 picking up there is still TOLR relay circuit operating as follows. B24 fuse 6162 terminals 4858 3R B CR2 FNRFLBTOLRF S2NLBTOLR equals terminal 21 N24 consequently, no sooner a train actuates the LSS track than the TOL indication is displayed at station A. The TOL code is not transmitted as the power circuit for transmitter at station A is broken because of the NR relay picking up and the TOL indication is not displayed at station B because of the TOLR relay dropping away while pushing buttons PB1 and PB2 are being pressed continuously. Releasing the PB1 and PB2 buttons at station B in this state results in the PBPR dropping away, causing the transmission of a direct current positive to be stopped so that the NR relay at station A drops away. With the NR relay dropping away, the stick circuit for TOLR relay is completed with a concomitant 
happening at the same time as it is at elsewhere, completion of the power circuit for transmitter at station A, so that a modulated current F2 is transmitted to effect a display of TOL indications at station B. Upon receipt of a modulated current F2, CR2 relay picks up at station B because of PB PR relay having been dropped away. Then TOLR relay picks up and TOL indication is displayed. Following confirmation, the buzzer can be stopped buzzing. NR and BLR relays are not to pick up simultaneously due to rectifier failure. Back contact of NR relay is proved in BLR relay circuit. In the transmitter DC feed path, CR1 and CR2 relays drop contacts are provided to ensure no code except bell code to be transmitted unless CR1 and CR2 relays are down. PBPR relay pickup contact in transmitter DC feed path, PBPR relay drop contact in modulated frequency input path for receiver is for not to receive its own modulated frequency. Auto TOL transmitter feed is through block handle L contact and TOLR relay pickup at contact. Receiver feed through block handle R contact and 2R relay drop contact because it is an auto operation. PB2 button pressed contact in DC feed to transmitter to prove positive action while transmitting any functional code and to prevent feed to transmitter while acknowledging TOL code by pressing PB1 button. BXDY handle contact in receiver DC feeding path is to minimize battery consumption. No station master key contact in transmitter receiver DC feeding path for auto TOL code transmission and reception as it should be done automatically. CR1 and CR2 relays to be energized one at a time. CR1 relay drop contact is provided in CR2 relay circuit and vice versa. Transmitter receiver modulated frequency output to line through TELR relay back contacts. Cross protection to magnet is given through CR1 and CR2 relay drop contacts. TOLR relay is slow to release because it picks up through TRSR relay pickup contact and stick path through TRSR relay drop contact. If PB1 and PB2 buttons are pressed just when train entering section, then NR relay picks up and TOLR relay may drop so CR2 and NR relay pickup contacts and block handle LB contact path is provided for not to disconnect TOLR relay circuit. S1 switch normal contact in ASR relay while cancelling to ensure signal to normal. Check lock position is effective at block handle X dash. Filters along with X Y relay in line circuit of TLBI handle type may be removed as ESO reference letter number STS E S L T L B I dated 0201-2004. ACPR relay pick contact to be proved in 1R. TAR and LSSDR relay circuits. ACPR relay drop contact in UYR1 relay circuit to be provided for block proving axle counter. Local battery is of 24 volt and is used for giving the supply to the transmitter, receiver, operating relays, indicators, local magnets, etc. of the block instruments. Since the current drain on the battery is high, secondary cells are generally used. It is used for external circuits to repeat the external conditions like 1R, 1TPR relays, etc. to the block instruments according to the requirements of the circuits. Line battery voltage will vary from 24 volts to 60 volts or 72 volt. 
The voltage will vary from 24 volt depending on the length of the block section in order to get a working current of 110 milliamperes online. This battery is connected online whenever the DC current is required to be sent either for exchanging the bell signals or as a part of the operational code. Or a single 24 volt line battery with two DC DC converters 24 or 60 volt to 100 volt, one for each block instrument are also used. Look at the above diagram for integrated power supply for railway electrified area. Look at the above diagram for integrated power supply for non-railway electrified area. Earth shall be provided as per approved drawings. As far as possible, the earthing arrangement shall be located in the natural soil. The made up soil, which is not consolidated or is likely to be eroded by weather, shall be avoided. Earth electrodes shall not be buried in a position likely to cause an obstruction or where it is likely to be damaged. Block earth resistance should be less than 10 ohms. Ensure that double lock is provided and seal is intact with the block instruments. Try to operate the instrument without cooperation, that is, without the receipt of functional code. It shall not be possible to turn the block handle from line closed to train going to or train coming from position or vice versa. Check for the two screws in the electric lock for intact performance. On receipt of train going to code, Turn block handle from line closed towards train going to and stop in midway. Disconnect the line and try to turn the handle further. The handle should get locked in check lock position. Ensure the armature of electric lock on block handle is force dropped in check lock notch and the block handle cannot be turned to train going to position. With a train in block section, try to bring the block handle to line closed position with or without cooperation from other station. It shall not be possible to turn the block handle to line closed position. The block handle should remain locked in last operated position. Try to take off the last stop signal without taking line clear, that is, without the block handle in TGT position. The signal should not be off. Shunt the first vehicle track. The last stop signal shall go back to danger automatically and try to take off last stop signal again. It is not possible to take off the last stop signal again unless a fresh line clear is obtained. RE modifications are nil. RDSO reference letter number STS slash e slash s l t l b i dated zero two zero one two thousand and four considering the non-vital nature of functions of b l r and n r relays in the circuit and working on phantom filters along with x and y relays in r e areas may be removed Following points are to be kept in mind while doing maintenance for reliable working of the battery. The local battery voltage at the instrument terminals on load should be not below 24 volts. Secondary cells of sufficient capacity may be used as the maximum working current per instrument is about 2 amperes when thermal time element relay is used and it is 0.6 amperes when electronic time element relay is used.
the upper limit of local battery on load should not exceed 29 volts as it may affect the Zener diode working. The line battery shall be capable of circulate 110 milliamperes in line circuit measured at code receiving station. Separate battery or DC-DC converters shall be provided for line circuit of each block instrument. Whenever the line battery or DC-DC converter is changed, the line current should be checked. The following points are to be kept in mind while doing maintenance for reliable working of block instrument. Each part of the block instrument should always kept clean so that its proper working may not be affected due to dirt. Terminals, bolts and plugs of transmitter and receiver shall always be kept well tightened so as to prevent any looseness of fixtures and consequent poor contact. All the contacts in block handle PB1, PB2 buttons, S1, S2 switches must be free from grease or dirt. No oil or grease should be applied in the locking piece and locking segment. All mechanical moving parts inside the token less instrument work freely and are well lubricated. Special care to be taken during rainy weather to prevent rusting and sticking of parts. At respective handle stops, there shall not be more than 0.5 mm clearance between locking piece and the projection of locking segment. During the periodical maintenance or inspection, the charger shall be switched off and the working of the relays shall be observed for few operations. The terminal voltage should be monitored during the code transmission in order to ensure the condition of the battery. Between locking piece and the upper edge of the locking segment when the former is in locked condition and between the locking piece and the lower edge of locking segment when the former is in unlocked condition, there shall be a slight clearance and there shall be no possibility of the locking piece being lifted up. Ensure availability of two screws and in tight condition used for lock retaining piece over the locking piece. The minimum line battery voltage should be maintained at 21.5 volt DC. The output voltage of receiver for operating CR1 or CR2 relays shall be 19.2 volt minimum. When the input voltage is in the range of 0.2 to 1.0 volt measured by VTVM, the output terminal voltage should be 19.2 volts minimum. Separate line battery or separate DC-DC converters with single line battery set shall be provided for line circuit of each block instrument. Whenever the line battery or DC-DC converter is changed, the line current should be checked. The line current shall not be less than 110 milliamperes in line circuit measured at code receiving station. TOLK indicator armature should be checked for its placement in the center channel putting the fingertip at the edge of the armature on both sides likely to check easy play and full operation of parabolic indicator. While plugging in relays or units, excessive force should not be exerted as it may affect the jackboard clips. Cabin man must always see that when putting back signal to on, the signal arm, signal lamp or signal indication corresponds to the lever, switch or button, otherwise the block instruments at both ends may get locked. All signal levers and switches must be at normal position before any operation is started. After pressing PB1 and PB2 buttons every time, it should be seen that these buttons come back to normal when released. The block handle can be operated trouble free if it is initially turned with a slow to and fro movement. Hasty or jerky attempts at the beginning may not release the handle. The advanced starter lever should always be pulled with slow start to release the lock in normal position where lever locks are provided. The block handle and the arrow on it should be kept perfectly in normal or TGT or TCF position as the case may be and never in any intermediate position other than the three mentioned above. In case of cancellation by switches S1 or S2, it must be ensured that departure and approach signals at both stations are put back to on. 
always see that the telephone 1 MIT is on the hook at both ends every time before PB1 and PB2 are pressed simultaneously. The home and outer signals levers must be kept pulled for reception of a train even in case of failure of home signal slot or reverser. Non-compliance will result in unnecessary failure of block instrument. Before starting any operation of the instrument, do not fail to see that the station master key S1 and S2 switch are in proper normal position. All relevant signals are at ON and levers are normal. Do not pull any of the home signal or advanced starter signal lever before either granting or receiving line clear. Do not try to turn the block handle to any position in a hasty manner. Do not fail to acknowledge promptly the train entering section code or train online bell and indication. In case of operation of switch S1 and S2, do not forget to put the switch back to normal before trying to normalize the block handle to line closed. A. Do not forget that the procedure of closing the block by the stations after cancellation operation by S1 or S2 is just the reverse of the sequence for normal operation. B. Simple rule. Normal operation without S1 or S2 switch. Sending station normalizers first. Receiving station normalizers last. Operation with S1 or S2 switch. Receiving station normalizers first. Sending station normalizers last. In case of receiving back the same train by the sending station, do not fail to operate S2 switch to make the slot effective for lowering of the reception signal and also do not forget to put back the switch to normal after the train arrival bell starts ringing. Do not keep the telephone handset off the hook when not talking with the other end. Handle type shall be considered to be interrupted and their working suspended in the following circumstances. When attention cannot be obtained directly on the block instrument by the use of push buttons or block bells. When there are no block bells or the bells received are indistinctive. If the last stop signal fails to return to on position when a train passes it. If the train arrival buzzer does not sound the alarm even after the complete arrival of the train inside the home signal and past the block clearance track circuits. This may be due to failure of the last vehicle track circuit. It should be noted that though home signal may go automatically to on by the passage of train, home signal lever shall not be put back to normal position unless the whole of the train has arrived inside the home signal and passed the block clearance track circuits. Failure to follow this will result in a block failure and the train arrival buzzer will not sound alarm under such circumstances. When there is reason to believe that there is contact between the block wire and any other circuit. Note, if a contact exists between the block wire and any other circuit, there is a possibility of irregular beats on the bell. A contact between two block wires would cause signals given on one instrument to be repeated on the neighboring instrument. Note, the telephone connected with the instrument for train signaling also shall be considered as failed. If the instrument or its battery counter is found unlocked or seal missing. When train online buzzer fails to give the alarm for any reason at the receiving station, even after display of train on arrival indication on the block instruments. Note. If a following train in the same direction working on paper line clear ticket actuates the train arrival bell, block working may be resumed. Note, if there is no following train but there is a train to proceed in the opposite direction, the same will be dispatched on paper line clear ticket. Note, 
the station master at the other end should use S2 switch and as in the case of a train pushing back and receive the train on proper signals after which block working may be resumed without waiting for S and T staff. When a material train etc is required to be taken into a block section after line block has been imposed in accordance with Appendix 5 to the general and subsidiary rules. Note, block working with line clear exchange by any means shall be suspended and the material train etc started on an authority to proceed without line clear after the line block has been removed the station masters themselves shall resume block working. When a train is required to enter block section which is obstructed by an accident or any other reason. Note, block working with line clear exchange by any means shall be suspended and train started on an authority to proceed without line clear on the obstruction being removed. The station masters themselves shall resume block working. If it is known that the instrument is defective in any way not specified above. If the galvanometer needle fails to move when bell signals are given or received. If the train online indication fails to appear on the instrument after the train has entered the block section. If the last stop signal cannot be taken off when the block handle is turned to the train going to position. If the last stop signal can be taken off when the block handle is not turned to the train going to position. When a train arrives at a station without line clear having been given for it. Note, this occurrence must be reported as an accident. Whenever the block handle is not free to be turned from one of the positions even after the correct sequence of operations. If the block handle can be turned from train on line to line closed position before complete arrival of the train. If the block handle can be turned to any of the three positions without a prolonged beat from the station at the other end. Fault condition, cause, rectification, bell beats failed from station A to station B, line battery low or disconnection at station A, PB1 push button contact develops disconnection at station A, line is open or short circuit or offering high resistance, PB1 button normal contact develops disconnection at station B. Local battery disconnection or weak at station B. It shall be 24 volt. BLR relay not picking up at station B when PB1 button pressed at station A due to some fault. In series with BLR or NR relay is punctured. Relay contacts of NR, BLR and PBPR offering high resistance at station A and station B. When PB1 button is pressed at station A, BLR relay shall pick up at station B. Suppose BLR relay is not picking up. Check up the incoming line voltage at station B across line 1 and line 2. Terminal numbers 25 and 26. Working voltage 24 volt. If the voltage is available and relay is not picking up, check for working current 110 milliamperes. Failure of lock magnet. Ensure the following. Station master's key on contact is making. Relay 1R front contact is making. Checking up the slides or levers or block signals at on. TER relay cold contact in TER relay. Switch S1 and S2 are in normal. Back contact of relay 2R and relay 3R is making. 
relay TRSR front contact is making in case of turning the block handle from normal to TGT including check lock. Relay TRSR back contact is making in case of turning the block handle from normal to TCF, TCF to normal, TGT to normal. Block handle contact X, X dash in case of turning block handle from normal to TGT. Front contact of relay NR is making. Front contact of relay CR2 is making for turning the block handle from normal to TGT. Front contact of relay CR1 is making for turning the block handle from normal to TCF, TCF to normal, TGT to normal. Local battery voltage 24 volts. Ensure cross protection contact vis a vis CR1 and CR2 breaking during the respective operations. Ensure voltage of location battery is 24 volts. All block signals are at on. Concerned levers or slides are normal. Failure of relay 1R. All block signals are at on. Concerned levers or slides are normal. TAR relay pickup while train arrives. If TAR relay is not pickup, check TAR relay circuit. Failure of relay 2R. Ensure TAR relay front contact making properly. Stick circuit is taken through block handle contact LB or RD. Check the block handle contacts. Check TER relay circuit, station master's key contact, switch S1 block handle R contact, TER hot contact, TEPR circuit, TER cold contact, block handle LX dash contact. Failure of relay 3R. Check the PB1 and PB2 contact of push button. 1R front contacts. When block handle is in RD position, check up block handle contact. TOLR front contact. Check station master's key contacts. Failure of PBPR relay. Check for CR2 relay front contacts, NR relay front contacts, 1TPR relay front contacts. Failure of relay TRSR at train sending end A. Block handle contracts X, X dash, X dash L. Local voltage 24 volt, including fuses, etc. 3R relay back contacts. If stick feed is not available, check TRSR relay front contacts. Make before break contacts of X, X dash, X dash L. Check the condenser across TRSR relay. Ensure TRSR relay slow to release feature. Failure of TOLR at A. A. Pickup circuit for TOLR relay. Ensure TRSR relay front contact making. Ensure 1 TPR relay back contact making. Ensure block handle contact LB is making. Ensure 3R relay back contacts making. Ensure S2 switch normal contacts making. B. Ensure stick feed to TOLR relay. Ensure TOLR relay front contacts making. NR relay back contacts making. TRSR relay back contacts making. 3R relay back contacts making. Ensure CR2 relay front contacts making. Failure of TOLR relay at station B. Ensure NR relay back contact making. Ensure block handle RD contact making. Ensure local voltage 24 volt. If DC input is absent, check the block handle contact XY LB RD. Failure of CR1 or CR2 relays. Ensure at code receiving end. If CR1 and CR2 relays are picking up, check at the receiver test terminals for A. 24 volt DC input to receiver B. FM input If DC input is absent, check the block handle contact X, Y, L, B, R, D. If FM input is present, check up the level. 
If the level is OK, adjust the attenuator. If the level is low at the transmitter, check the level low, high, medium. Failure of last stop signal circuit. Check for ASR, TRSR relay front contacts, S1 switch normal contact, LA contact of block handle, 1R relay back contact. Failure of home signal. Check for HSR relay circuit, S1 switch normal contacts and handle RY, LB contact or S2 switch reverse contact and L of block handle for pushback operation. Premature TOL. Stick feed to TRSR relay cut off due to one TPR relay momentarily dropped due to unknown reason before train enters intersection. Normal cancellation not possible. TRSR relay dropped due to momentary dropping of one TPR relay or 3R circuit. X-L contact not making. Check S1 switch R contacts in TER relay circuit and 3R relay circuit are making properly. Check 1R relay front contact and station master's key. No output from receiver. Check if the supply is OK by pressing push button to make switch in transmitter and receiver. If power on indicators are glowing with red LED, it means power supply is OK. If the red LED does not glow, check the fuse. If the fuses are missing or blown, replace it. Power is OK. LEDs OK but relay does not pick up. Press the PTM switch, which is on the front panel and see if the level indicator green LED glows or not. If glows, that means relay driving signal is OK and the problem is with respective relay. So, replace it and get the desired result. If the level indicator amber LED glows, the relay driving signal is missing. Check the following. Input to the receiver between 5 and 6, plus 10 volts to plus 13 volts PP between 7 and 8, plus 1.5 volts to plus 2.5 volts PP between 9 and 10 or 11 and 12 plus 21.6 volts to 26 volts PP. If the above voltage signals are not regular, proper, open the cabinet and follow the signal flow and check the voltages.